there's something about a beach. When the sun begins to set and the sand turns cool between your toes, there's just something indefinably, yet undeniably, romantic. Who doesn't dream about being married barefooted on the white sands? It's just, it's picture perfect. Krista Davis and Blake Monroe of Comanche, Texas, started dreaming of a beach wedding the night he popped the question and stopped about six weeks ago. You couldn't talk to me without me yeah, just bawling. She was very upset. Krista and Blake had planned on getting married here in the Florida Panhandle. The Emerald Coast, as they call it, is the wedding destination of choice for about 20,000 couples annually. Although now, many of those brides and grooms are getting cold feet. I tell them, please come, our beaches are okay. But you know, they're like, well, yeah, they're okay right now, but what about next week? Connie Turner Reader is a wedding planner. Since the spill, her phones have been ringing off the hook with cancellations. She says 50% of her business has evaporated. And I love this so much that the thought of not being able to do it is incredibly hurtful. And with the phone as a constant reminder. Good afternoon, beach weddings. Connie can't help but feel despair. I know you're concerned about the oil. Yet there is hope in the other half who aren't canceling. Couples who, for whatever reason, are coming here anyway. We need to get our marriage license. At the last hour, our couple from Comanche decided getting married in the Florida Panhandle was not only an acceptable option, it was the right choice. Blake was actually the catalyst for that. He got tired of hearing his fiance beach about the beaches and told her this. You know, it's not just affecting us, it's affecting everybody that, that lives on the Gulf that counts on that for income. It made me realize it's... Not just about you. It's not just about me. <laughs> she may be the first bride in history to realize that. I was being selfish. Krista realized that tar balls